Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you guys about how I recognize and execute the T set for CLL. So the first case, I, uh, how I recognize T case is these four stickers right here. So you're never going to have to look at any stickers except these. So these four right here. Okay, so how I recognize this case is these two are opposite and these two are the same. So these are the same and these are opposites. And I execute it like this. Then for this set, or this case, I recognize that these are the same and these two are opposites. And if you look at the last case here, you can see the difference. These two are opposite and these two are opposite on this one. So the matching colors basically just switch places. So these two are opposites, these are the same, and then you just do this. Next case, I recognize this one that these this is a solid block color, and these two are opposites. And then I do this. Next case, I recognize that this is a solid block of color, and these two are opposites. In the last case, it was switched. The mat, the block of color was here and the opposite were here. So they basically switched spots. So I hold it right here and do this. Next case. I recognize this one basically just, it, it's basically just a checkerboard pattern. Um, these two are the same, these two are the same, and it looks like a checkerboard. So. These two are the same, these two are the same, opposite, opposite, however you want to look at it. And then I do this. In the last case, I recognize that there's a solid block of color right here, and a solid block of color right here. So, here we go. Oh, shoot. And let me do that again, I totally screwed that up, but, so here we go. That case is kind of hard to execute slowly, um, I don't know why, but it is. Uh, but that's how I recognize the T-set for CLL.